up. It's not on the right tractor, but it's out of the way. We get it up to the front of the shop so we can work on it. Now we're backing this tractor up to the drill, get it hitched up, leave it in here for the time being. So I gotta pull that sprayer back in. tractor the planner will go on maximum 125 yeah that corn planter won't put any corn in the ground without that ag leader system that's up there the auto steer it's in this tractor yeah but i just put it on this one to bring it up if this tractor shorter we'll get more room in the shop yeah it's not even all the way hitched up and this one just the pin is in but we're getting planners going I mean, probably tomorrow we'll start working on them some more and get that drill out if it ain't raining what i'm doing here is unfitting the fertilizer disc they're pinned up because we pre-planted some corn last year so I'm just letting them down Today gonna be showing you how our John Deere planter works. Uh, it's our planter. We put on fertilizer when we're planting. That's what these two big yellow tanks are here. And these smaller tanks here are seed boxes. This is a called a vacuum planter. It sucks the seed to the seed plate, which I'll show you right now. So we'll Set these seed boxes up, and that vacuum hose, right there is the vacuum, and there's a gauge on top that tells us how much pressure it's got, and those big black line runs to here, this is all folded up now, that's why it looks like this, but and there's these little lines that run right here, and then it pulls the seed against this plate and the seed sits on the back the other side of this seed plate here 
this is where the seed actually sits it's on those little holes and then the little knocker thing right here that knocks the, the seed off the plate and lets the seed drop down I don't know if you can see the seed shoot the seed goes through this box and down down through here and then it sucks to this plate that's how that works put that back in Every one of these plates is for each specific row. These are precision, called precision plates. Yeah, the seed is going to drop through that tube. So basically, this fertilizer disc is going to come through and cut a trench and drop fertilizer down this tube below the seed. And then this will open up the ground more and there's two discs right here that make like a V for the seed trench and then the seed is dropping down through here and then comes out down there you can see it real good it comes out down there so the seed doesn't bounce in the seed trench and then these are the closing wheels right here they're spinning closing the trench back up that those first two disc blades are making and this right here is how we control how deep the seed is going to go into the ground and that's what these gauge wheels are doing they can move up and down and they are controlling how far them discs can go in the ground because these aren't going to go and go into the ground where the disc will cut in so these will control how deep that seed is going to go and this spring up here is how much pressure each row unit is going to put on the ground so that way if you're in really hard ground or soft ground it's, you can change how much pressure it's pushing down to get that seed in the ground so the planter unit doesn't jump up so yeah this corn planter plants eight rows of corn 30 inches apart and plants about it's about 20 feet at once but that's how our John Deere planter works. And the drill back there, don't mind all our junk. That's planting 32 rows of beans at once. And each row unit is 15 inches apart. And the whole drill when it's opened up is 40 foot wide. But yeah, the they sound like they're complicated but they're really not it's just see going down and then catching that meter and going down this is our soybean drill and that big tank right there is where we put all our beans in that holds the beans while we're planting and then See if we can take a look in here. So we'll open up this. And that this is an auger right here that swings around when this is opened up, and we can put a box of seed over it and it'll auger it and put it here and this seed box will hold about I think about a hundred and twenty units and a unit is about 50 pounds I think it's a hundred and forty thousand seeds 
a unit is. That's how they're counted. And we plant about 180,000 seeds of soybeans an acre. And for corn, we plant about 34,000 seeds per acre. Now I will show you how the soybean planter meters. Oh, maybe I can't see it. But yeah, this is at the bottom of the box here. There's little, little, looks like gears. And they are, the soybeans fit in between those teeth right there. And it, however fast that gear right there is turning, is how many seeds are coming out the back. And then they'll, there's air blowing through the front and then it'll push the seeds there's air pushing underneath those cups and that falls into those tubes right there and the tubes go to every row unit and so the tube will come down to the end here maybe we can see it better this soybeans will come through this tube and down through here then there's a seed shaft right there and this is the disc that's opening up the ground for the seeds to go in and the seeds will come out come out of that right there that tube and then this piece keeps the seeds from bouncing right here Then this little disc spins or is spinning and closing up the seed trench. So that's how this Hineker cedar works. So if you're wondering, I hope you found that video informative. If you ever wondered how planters or drills work, uh, that's basically it. There's different kinds of planters and different kinds of drills, but this is what we have on our farm. Well, that's it. I'll see you later.